All right, y'all, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing a comb over with a ball fade on the sides. I didn't do nothing to the beard. Um, I also did some shear work and some thinning shear work on the sides to blend it in, so I hope you enjoy this video. But before watching this video, today is a special day, and why is it a special day? It's because it's my three year anniversary with my lovely wife. We've been together for going on nine months. Whoa. We've been together going on nine years now, but three years married. So I just want to take the time to say happy anniversary to this beautiful wife of mine. Happy We're anniversary. on the way to go get some brunch right now. It's 9.41 a.m. So I will be dropping this video later on today. If you are not yet subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Get those likes up, thumbs up. Come on, guys. It does, it does good for the channel. If you want my channel to grow, hit that like button. Get those thumbs up. Get active in the comments. Let me know exactly what you want me to do as far as content for my channel and for you all. Oh, wait. Quick shout out. Oh, shout out to the wife for the braids. Follow her at hair underscore by Brittany. I will put it somewhere right here in this area. Nonetheless, let's jump right into the tutorial. I hope y'all enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy my day off with my lovely wife. Let's get into it, Team Gifted. Let go. All right, so let's jump right into it right here. I'm using my Andis MVPs and I have the five zero blade on there. So I'm creating my first initial guideline and I'm kind of dropping it in the back. It's going to be kind of like a low mid fade. I just want to keep, you know, when it gets closer to the ridge, whenever the comb over begins, I want to have that pretty dark in that area. So right here, I'm just kind of dropping it. All right, so after that guideline, I'm using my wall magic cordless clippers on this one. And I have the lever all the way open. So that's your half. And I'm going up about an inch. I'm giving myself room to blend and spread that, you know, spread the blend pretty good. All right, so after creating that half line, I put the lever in the middle and start to remove that line. Right there, I put it in the middle and start to remove that line. <clears throat> and then I close it all the way. And basically I'm working underneath whenever I move the lever. So after I put the half guideline, I close it to the middle and I work below it, just to, you know, working that line out. And then I close my lever to remove the first guideline, which was used for the, the Andis MVPs. All right, so after that, I have my one guard on, lever all the way open. Again, working our way down. So after having the lever all the way open, I put it in the middle and then I close it. And whenever I close the lever all the way, I don't take it all the way up to that line. It may look like it, but I'm just trying to, re you know, soften up that line. That way I could come and use the, the half guard. And he likes this the, the drastic comb over on this side, you know, taking that two guard all the way up to the wherever it parts. <clears throat> There's some clients that want to have some volume in that area. So, you know, always ask the client, you know, what he prefers. He or she prefers. All right, so right after using the one guard, I have my one and a half guard. And this is the difference between using the, your, your Andis Masters or your Oster Fast Feeds. This is a step that you kind of skip using your one and a half guard. <clears throat> so there is kind of an extra step whenever you use walls. Um, but if you don't set that, if you don't commit to that guideline using the one, then there's some times where you may not even have to use a one and a half guard. But I don't like to skip a guard. I don't like to skip a guard or anything like that. So. I just, you know, I go from one to one and a half to two to three. All right, so I went back to my one guard after using the one and a half and just to soften up that, those darkness spots. All right, so right here I have the half guard on, lever open, 
and I'm removing that one guard line. After, after, after having my lever open, again, I put it in the middle and then I close it. <clears throat> and you can see this blend is coming, it's coming together. His hair, man, it just, it blends perfectly. And this is just going to be the haircut. It's, I'm not doing his beard. Alright, so here's a two guard, and I have it closed. And notice how I'm using the opposite hand to move the hair out of the way. So I don't cut nothing that that is not supposed to be cut. And then I turn the clipper around and kind of like rest the guard on the long hair. That way I don't cut it and cut downwards because there's some you know some straight hairs that stick out especially with straight hair like this there's some hairs that stick out at that at that um part so you cut in that direction and you eliminate those hairs so i went back with my one and a half guard and right now i'm just kind of detailing um i already finished you know like the blend i guess you could say the kind of like the rough draft so right now i'm just kind of detailing my work and going back and using the guards and when doing this guys start with the lever open I, I can't stress it enough like if you start with the lever closed or with a guard that you might not know what was in that area you're gonna create yourself another line that you can't get out so trial and error if it doesn't cut work your way down you you can't put hair back on but you could take it off so just take the time to you know start with a, a higher guard or the lever open and work your way down you will thank me later <clears throat> all right this is just some touch of work with no guard you know flicking that lever up and down i call this lever play <laughs> all right so what you do to one side you do to the other and i did speed it up on this side just because you know it's the same steps it may be a little different on this side just because you're fading into the comb over but um i'm also going to do some shear work we're going to trim the top so stay tuned and watch this video and even though he doesn't want his beard done i'm not going to have him walking out with his beard like that so I do fade it I just don't put it in the video And just to let y'all know, everything that I use in my video, as far as camera equipment, um, the ring light that I use, the, the the clippers, the trimmers, the blades, the Tune 45, everything, my, everything that I use in my video is in the description below. Click on those links and, and, and check them out. All right, so this two guard is basically just removing some of the bulk. I'm not digging in. I'm not going, you know, too far into the, the long hair on top. I'm kind of just going, I guess you could say straight up in a way. 
um, and then also using the corners as well. <clears throat> I also have the uh, the wall premium metal guards um, whenever I use my magic clips so those are also in the description as well they're a lot better than the regular guards especially the ones that they come with um, the metal premium ones they clamp on so well the one and a half guard is real durable so check the check those uh, guards out if you use wall you gotta have these guards some lever play All right, so right here, you wanna make sure you add a good amount of water before using the scissors or your shears. All right, so right here, I started from you know the left side of his head and I'm working on my, on the way to the right side. And notice how I kind of, you know, cut in a, I guess you could say in a downward position when I get closer to the comb over side, <clears throat> kind of like at an angle just complementing the shape of the of his head and then you know the shape of the comb over so create create your first guideline and you're going to follow it all the way through Also cross check your work, double cross check your work. Make sure everything is even. I comb the banes down and, and then pull it to the front to make sure it's all even. All right, so right here, this is shear over comb. And this is, this this works. Um, removing bulk and blending it into the top from the fade. And I'm not necessarily digging in, I'm not cutting the, you know, whenever I pick the hair up, I kind of bring the comb towards me. That way I just cut the tips and it blends right in. And then right here, I follow through with the thinning shears. All right, so right here, just some blow dry action. Making the hair, making the hair dry all the way through before adding product, and then that'll, you know, this is all holding the hair in place. All right, right here, I just added some. I asked, I asked the client if he wanted a wet look or a dry look, and he chose the dry look. So, combing the hair into place. Look how just by blow drying that front, it gave it that natural fall and that pompadour type look in the front. So right here, I'm just adding the hard part. And this is the client's um, uh, own you know, personal preference on if he wants a hard part or not. So make sure you ask the client if he wants a hard part. Just don't assume that he does or he or she does. All right, so here's the finished look. Comb over, ball fade on the sides. I think this cut came out dope. Some sheer work also. Look at that, he model ready. He in tip top shape. I hope you all enjoyed the video. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Once I hit that 10K mark, we're gonna do another giveaway. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. This is on my social media, Team Gifted. We out.